Hello everybody, welcome to episode 1 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. This was an event only game mode, I managed to find a mod that re-enables it. I'm doing some stuff on my other characters right now where I, I have to let them sit for a few hours every day doing certain things, so I kind of wanted something I could actively play. So if you don't know what this is, essentially it's normal hardcore, you know, you lose your character if you die. But all of the skills other than the combat skills and alt magic are locked. The main thing the speedrun changes is that all combat intervals are reduced by 80%. So if I go in here and fight this plant here, you can see that it goes by really fast. I tried to do hardcore combat only on a normal hardcore count, but it was just so slow. I just didn't have the time to sit and babysit it for two hours and make like no progress. Oh, and also because it's hardcore, you have no natural hit point regeneration. You can only restore health by eating. But for right now, my main goal is just to try and level up my defense. I'm going to let this run here. I'm going to obviously watch it. And then as soon, if, if I get down to half, I'll run away and heal up. I do have a pretty decent plan moving forward, at least for the first little bit here. But yeah, I'm just going to sit here and watch this until I get to the point I want to be at. And I'll check back in. Okay, so I've been running this for about 30 minutes now. I managed to get my defense up to level 15. And I started working on attack and strength. So I've got them both up to 5, I'm training strength right now. My character's name is Lil Badass. If you can let me know in the comments what I'm referencing with that, then I'll shout you out in the next video I record. I've built up a decent amount of potatoes for healing. I think what I'm going to try and do now is heal up and then if you go to the Goblin Village and look at these gold- or sorry, Golden Village and look at these Goldens, they can drop a shield and a battle axe, so I want these. So I'm gonna hover over the run button here just in case. There's the shield. If I get down to half, I'm going to run. Obviously, my first goal is just to gear up. But my first main goal is to get a million gold so that I can buy auto eat tier 1. Because obviously, right now, I can't afford to idle anything. It's too big of a risk. Even the plants will kill me if I'm not careful. But this should give me a decent defense bonus. It'll help with my evasion slightly. Okay, there it is. That's pretty lucky. So this is pretty good. Other than for training attack, but... Increases my melee strength by a lot. Um, obviously max hit 42 with block is 35. That's way higher than it was. My next step is probably going to be grinding out plants or chickens. I need to get up my combat level so I can fight these zombie hands here. Because they can drop some bronze and iron armor. Which would be really good to get. Just for the extra little bit of evasion. Just try not to take too many risks. I would not like to lose progress. Also makes my attack interval a little bit faster. Which is the main reason I wanted it. The buffs are okay, I mean it's not great obviously. So about another 20 minutes later on this, I've managed to, I had to grind out attack to level 15, strength to level 15, and defense to level 21 to finally hit level 20 hit points. I swapped over to these chickens just because they have higher health, so that means I can get more XP per kill. Also because they dropped these feathers, obviously I can't use them, but for me right now this is pretty decent money. I think now I'm going to try to swap over to cows, I think I should be able to handle cows. These guys definitely do hit a little harder. They could definitely kill me pretty easily if I'm not paying attention. Oh, and I managed to get up enough gold, so I went ahead and bought 10 extra bank slots. I know some people like to do this challenge with only having the base 12 bank slots, but I just... There's already enough constraints on this to make it interesting, and I feel like managing my space like that wouldn't be really fun to me. So yeah, I'm just going to keep banging away on these cows. I'm going back to plants if I need more healing items. I built up a decent amount of potatoes here. So I should be good for a little bit on that, and I'll get back to you if anything changes. So about another 30 minutes have gone by. Um, my main goal was to get hit points up to 25 by just leveling up these and focusing on defense. Uh, when I got hit points up to 25, I was at level 28 defense, so I just pushed it up to 30. Now this leather is worth a lot on its own, but I did this on my adventure character. You can go here, and you can upgrade all the leather that you have. To green dragon hide and then sell the green dragon hide and you make a lot more money this way you're basically doubling your gold so i'm up to 80k now which is pretty good i guess i'll go ahead and clear out all this shit and block these have a three percent chance to hit i was hoping to get to the point where i could just idle these overnight because to be honest i don't really have much time tonight to work on this all right so this is the next day this is the point i got to last night um i got the chance to hit down to two percent but couldn't really get it down any farther. 
Right now I'm just going to kill these guys for a little bit to get some food, but because you have a bunch of green dragon hide and some leather in my bank. Uh, I killed a bunch of cows last night and went ahead and upgraded them, so this is worth a lot of money. I can probably pretty easily get to my million gold with this for auto eat, which means I probably don't have to level up enough to get these guys down to 0% before I can let this run. The main problem is just getting enough food, because you know, these only heal 3 HP. With my current gear, there's nothing I can really get food from other than this. You can see I also have some prayer points. I did bury some bones and decided to level up prayer a couple times. Use cheese and the melee evasion. Make it easier to kill those cows. See, I'm just going to sit here and collect food a little bit. And then go back to cows. So you'll see me in a second. Okay, so I've been letting this go while I ate my dinner. I got defense up to level 40, strength to level 30, attack level 30, and hit points level 35. Uh, I think I'm going to try... I'm going to try to fight these. Because they can drop some armor. I'm going to hover my finger over the run button. They can do a large amount of damage. Yeah, I got uh pretty lucky with those drops, actually. So I got some of this stuff. It was very nice for our melee defense. It takes so long to heal up just holding down on this. I could probably see about fighting the Still Knight. How much damage do you do? Low chance to hit. I can kill these. Yeah, this isn't hard at all. There we go. Okay, I got the Steel Semi and some Steel Boots. Good progress. Yeah, these aren't hard to kill. I feel pretty comfortable fighting these. I do attack a lot faster now with this semi. So I just need the pants and the plate body now. I'm going to sit here and grind these until I get that. I completely forgot about these guys. Honestly, I probably could have killed this guy a lot sooner than the zombie. It's the same deal, basically. I'm just going to run when I get below half. Heal up and then go back in. I'm just trying to play safe and not take too many risks. I know I've only put like four or five hours into this account so far, but I would rather not restart. Okay, there's a plate body. Very nice. So I'm pretty well decently geared now the main problem is getting gloves um not many things drop gloves i don't believe if you do know an enemy that can drop gloves i know in the um in the arid plains these archers yeah they are archers drop desert wrappings which do give some damage reduction and then holy isles you got the paladins but obviously these are both like pretty far away i'm gonna try to do these black knights now see if i can handle these oh yeah i can handle these yeah the main annoyance right now is just how long it takes to heal so yeah, I'm just going to grind these out a little bit. I'll get back to you once I have all the black gear. Hey, been sitting with this for another 30 minutes. I managed to kill a bunch of mithril knights. I decided to swap over to those because they had a higher drop rate for their armor. Um, they were a little harder. There was a couple of close calls in there where I almost died. But I managed to get pretty much the full set minus the plate body. And I did find this mithril sword. Uh, I don't really have a shield right now. I found this uh, black two-handed sword. Since I'm trying to focus on defense right now anyway, this is pretty helpful. The sword does a lot of damage too. Most of the time I two-shot these cows. Yeah, so I'm just trying to train up defense. I managed with the armor and everything. Um, probably if I have a shield, had a shield, it would go over. But the plants are down to 1% now, so that's good progress there. I'm just back to cows because I think I should focus on trying to make money right now. Because I got pretty decent gear set up for where I am. Yeah, I'm probably going to sit on cows for a bit. Obviously the start is going to be slow. I don't really have that many options for doing things right now, but it should open up later. Yeah, this is going to be a series on the channel, my first series on here. I'll try to upload three of these a week and that'll go on until I defeat Into the Mist or until I die. It's going to be hard without potions or summoning, that's for sure. But yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. I've been Captain Blemo and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. Last night I managed to play a little bit longer. I got hit points level 42, defense 50, strength 35, and attack 35. I also got up to 650,000 gold so I'm fairly close to being able to get auto eat. So for the time being I'm probably just going to grind out skill levels on cows until I have enough money to get auto eat and then I might try moving on to some of the harder stuff. If I can kill some of the more difficult enemies while staying above my auto eat threshold that would be great. I'm not trying to die. So yeah I just wanted to update you guys on where we are. I'll get back to you once I've made enough money to buy auto eat. Alright it's literally been like two hours I've been doing this. But I finally managed to get just enough to get auto eight tier one, which is pretty huge. This opens up a lot of doors for me, but this took so long. I think my next goal is probably to go kill mummies just because they got some nice jewelry. Like they got the silver diamond ring and the gold emerald ring, which are both really good for me. The silver diamond ring gives you 1% extra damage reduction and the gold emerald ring gives you some extra combat XP. So both are very good under different circumstances. And the amulet of strength, yeah, all of the amulets are pretty okay. So you got the silver ruby necklace, which gives hidden strength level. 
the silver topaz necklace, which gives hidden attack level, and then the amulet of strength, which just gives a flat bonus to strength. I mainly just ground that out because manually healing in this is the most annoying thing I've ever done in any video game. It took a long time. I feel like most of my time was spent manually healing. Uh, I think I'm going to just go ahead and deal with this. I've got 500 potatoes, so I think that's okay. And I'm going to try to see if I can kill um, some mummies for those amulets, like I was mentioning before. That would be a pretty nice power spike for me right now. They're decently low level, actually. Hopefully it's not that difficult. There's the hidden strength level amulet. Not bad. Increase my damage a little bit. I'm really trying to get the gold emerald ring and the silver diamond ring from this. I think those are the two best drops I can get. This is pretty decent money as well. It's not that much of a waste of time. I'm interested to see how many potatoes I eat. Oh, it was like a hundred. Is that not like a hundred? Yeah, I'm, I'm eating like a hundred potatoes every time I get beneath that threshold. So I dropped the amulet of strength and I got the gold emerald ring. So that's pretty sweet. See if I can get the, the silver diamond ring is the rarest drop from this guy. So I might have to come back for that later because I'm running out of food. I think I just run from this. Yeah, so essentially what this does, it gives 10 strength bonus. The gold emerald ring, like I said, gives plus 4% combat XP. That's pretty sweet. I think those were some pretty decent drops. I pretty much got everything I wanted other than the silver diamond ring, but that's fine. Okay, so I just ground out a thousand potatoes. I'm going to go try and kill some more mithril knights for the shield and the play body. I have a mithril sword already, um, but I need the shield and I need the play body. So I'm going to go grind these out real quick. I just went through like 700, 800 of my food and I didn't find either of the things I wanted. What I'll probably do is just go kill the Steel Knights until I get their shield. I mainly just need it to train attack better because this has negative uh, stab bonus. I just wish I had a better source of food. I was looking and I think the earliest way I can get food is these sweaty monsters and I killed a few of them, but they're still kind of out of my reach. Okay, so it's been a few hours. I had to step away from this for a little bit and I was thinking about my food situation. I have to get so many potatoes because of auto eat one's low food efficiency. So I was trying to think what the best way is for me to get better food right now. And I think because I forgot rerolling these slayer tasks is free. I can just do the slayer tasks to something I can handle, kill a bunch of those and try and get to the point where I can buy the basic resupplies. This is 5,000, but it comes with a hundred lobsters, which is way, way better food than what I have right now. So that's probably what I'll do. For a while also i believe i can probably do these plants overnight now so yeah i'll probably run these slayer tasks for a bit and try and level up my attack and strength as well all right so after about another 40 minutes of swapping between cows and plants and some steel knights and stuff in between for the slayer tasks i now have enough slayer coin to buy the basic resupply i can bury these bones i can equip this food i'll hold on to these i'll hold on to these and i'll hold on to these i just want to build up a nice supply of arrows now since there's no other way to get them other than the drops in combat. That's way better food. I've just been swapping between strength, attack, and defense. So I've got attack 45, strength 42, and defense 54. I'm just working on getting strength up to 45 right now. I've got my XP ring on and my amulet of strength. I'm not honestly sure what my next step is here. Obviously I could go get a bow or the slingshot. I could grind these for food and gold. I think what I'll probably just do is just keep grinding out Slayer tasks, to be honest. I think that's really my best bet right now. Building up a decent supply of food, arrows, and stuff like that will set me up better for later. And it helps me get my attack skills up while also doing something else at the same time. But yeah, like I said, this is just going to be really, really slow. I just need to work on getting my skill levels up, getting a good supply of food and arrows and everything. Oh, and I bought 10 more bank slots, but I just need to build up everything I have. Yeah, I'll probably just keep grinding out Slayer tasks for a little bit today and tomorrow morning. Build up a decent supply of food and other things so that next episode we can have a little bit more fun and do some more interesting things. Unfortunately, we weren't able to make much progress today, but that's just how it is with this sometimes, it seems. But yeah, I've been Captain Blamo. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 3 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. As you can see, I've made a lot of progress since last episode. Like I said I would, I've been grinding out slayers. Um, I managed to get a bunch of lobsters. I had a, a little over a thousand and then I swapped over to getting the 10k one so I'm building up a nice supply of crabs as well. I've been mainly sticking on these statues so I've tried to build a decent supply of gold and silver bars for upgrading armor. You can see I have my full set upgraded. I also parked on mummies for a little bit just to get the elite amulet of strength so that's good there. Now I think with my current setup I should be able to start 
running through some dungeons. So I don't think I can do bandit base and I don't think I can do hollow wizards, but I believe that I should be able to do chicken coop, undead graveyard and spider forest. So I'm going to equip my ring and we're going to start running through these. I know I probably could have done this a lot earlier. The chicken coop isn't really that important. It doesn't really drop anything that great. It mainly only drops, you know, feathers and raw chicken. The main reason you'd want to do this dungeon is for the pet, but I don't really care about that pet all that much. So at this point, I've cleared it a few times. This is pretty easy. Nothing even hit me. Yeah, I cleared it three times. All right, moving on to Undead Graveyard. I should be able to clear this fairly easily. I don't think anything can even do any damage to me. Even though I have auto eat one, these guys shouldn't be able to get beyond that. This is a good dungeon to grind out if I can idle it, just because of getting the Elite Amulet of Defense. It's kind of not a great way to get it, in my opinion. It takes a long time. As I said in my Fez video, it took me 800 clears to get it on my main account. 92. So yeah, nothing can kill me. I might go through a little bit of food on this dungeon, but I'm safe. I won't die. I'll, I'll probably do this a few dozen times just to see if I get lucky with the Elite Amulet of Defense drop. And then we'll move on to Spider Forest. What I'll probably start doing now that I have full upgraded gear, I do want to get the Mithril Plate Body for the additional like 2% damage reduction and the better stats. Oh, and I have been running prayer because the Slayer pack gives you these magic bones, which are worth a decent amount of prayer points. So I've just been running it, get my prayer leveled up. I've got it up to 40 now, so I've unlocked most of this stuff. I'll probably turn on a safeguard for a spider forest just to be safe. I am trying to manually eat in between fights when I can, just because, you know, auto beat one food efficiency is 60%. So I lose a lot of healing value and I run through a lot more food if I just let it auto eat. But yeah, but the better way to get the Elite Amulet of Defense, in my opinion, is to go to this Forest of Goo and kill these purple goo monsters. They drop their normal amulet and you can just upgrade it. For me, at least, that took a lot less time than grinding this dungeon out. And it's not just my personal experience. It says statistically on the wiki that it takes less time to do it that way. Because the drop chance is just so low. I think it's the rarest item in this chest, other than the bone necklace. I'm a little nervous for Spider Forest, but I think as long as I pay attention, I should be okay. I don't think I can get one shot or anything. The main threat is the poison, and because I have auto weed, that's not really a big deal. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna run from this. I'm mainly just trying to test my strength, see where I'm at. The dungeons I feel are a pretty good, like, uh, show of how far I've gotten. Yeah, I'll have melee accuracy rating and damage reduction on. So I've got 14% 14 D 14 DR, 620 health. I think I should be okay. I just, I'll, just pay, I'll pay attention on this and just make sure. This is really important, because getting the amulet of looting is a pretty big deal. Especially when everything goes this fast. I have to come back pretty often to loot everything. To grab all the loot. I'm going to heal up all the way after I kill this. Okay, this guy can almost kill me, but not quite. I think if I was going to idle this, I would probably want to get higher health and higher DR a little bit. But yeah, I'll play this fight through. Okay. Sweet. Oh, I was hoping I'd get the amulet of looting first game. That's fine. The most reasonable way to probably do things is just uh, get enough money to get auto eat tier 2. That would be a big spike up. So I just need to get some money. I'll probably change these to Master Farmers. I was lucky. I killed a bunch of these. I think these are the highest gold per hour I can do right now. This way I'm doing multiple things at once. I'm getting Slayer Coins, I'm leveling up combat, and I'm making a bunch of money. So yeah, I'll probably stick doing this for a little bit. I'll get back to you once I have the money that I need. I need a lot. I need 5 million. So this might take a little bit, but I think it's worth it. Okay, I've been sitting here for like an hour. And I haven't made that much money, so I think I'm just going to give up on that and try and get adamant gear. Because that basically serves the same purpose in terms of making sure I can survive certain things. I think that once I get the full set of adamant gear, the main grind is just going to be getting enough gold to upgrade it all. But if I can get all of them, that's like 20 damage resistance just with the armor. I was just getting master farmers and buying more crabs. So I've got over a thousand crabs now, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I've got the boots, I've got the helmet, I need the shield, and the plate legs, and the plate body. Obsidian cape would be really good as well. That raises my defense level by a lot. Huge defense bonuses. The plate body is probably the most important thing I could get here. Just because I'm still rocking the steel one, which only gives 1% DR. Yeah, I'll stick on these for a little bit until I get the full set. Okay, so as you can see, I have collected the full set here, which is pretty nice. I also did manage to get the obsidian cape. This thing is crazy. Plus one melee defense for every defense level, and then plus one range defense for every range level. Obviously, my range level is not high at all. But this dropped the chance to hit percentage on the Adamant Knights from 30% to 22%. So this gives more, basically the same amount of defense as my full armor set right now. 
but this is crazy. But yeah, I upgraded as many of these as I could right now, and I'm just about to go grind out some more statues so that I can level these up. But I think that's essentially all I have for this one. I mainly checked in here to see if what dungeons I can do. Probably between this one and the next one, I'll work more on getting this set up and then doing the spider forest a bunch of times, getting the amulet of looting. Tomorrow, I'll get back on recording and we'll see about getting some higher quality gear like the paladin gloves and maybe the sand treaders. I've been Captain Blemo. Stay tuned for more episodes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode four of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. So real quick, I'm just going to run you through everything I've done. It's been about two days since my last video. I didn't feel like I had made enough progress last night to make a video. I didn't think we'd be able to do anything that interesting. First, I ground out a bunch of those statues and kept doing my slayer tasks. And I upgraded the adamant chest and the shield. I didn't really worry about the other parts because that's just 1% extra damage reduction. The, sh the chest and the shield were still pretty low level. So that was a pretty big power spike. Once I did that, I ran spider forest a bunch of times to get the amulet of looting, which you see I have equipped now. And then after that, I idled cows overnight with the amulet of looting equipped to get a bunch of leather. So with that, um, after I converted it and sold it, I managed to get auto eat tier two. So that's pretty huge. Um, after that, I went into the forest of goo and killed a bunch of these purple goo monsters until I got the elite amulet of defense so that's done i have that oh yeah and i killed a couple rune knights and got this rune scimitar but i didn't manage to get any armor yet but we'll get into that in a little bit i got this ice sword which is a little bit better weapon that drops from this ice monster in the icy hills it's a pretty good weapon if you're combat level 40 i think i saved up some slayer coin and i bought a desert hat and i went to the desert and i got the desert wrappings so that's a little bit extra damage reduction and it fills up my glove slot and then i idled cows overnight again so you can see i've built up five million gold again and then that was this morning so since this morning essentially i've just been going through all the slayer tasks that i can and building up a bunch of slayer coin and then buying a bunch of crabs with the uh, i've basically only been buying the standard resupply now you can see i have around 200,000 prayer points i've got 3500 crabs i did level up range to 20 so i could equip these mithril arrows get these out of my inventory but yeah i've gotten to the point now where i can pretty much do all of these tasks fairly easily i don't have to watch this anymore right now all my skill levels are level 80 i've got level 80 across the board attack strength defense and hit points all level 80 i've got a couple goals today my first goal for tonight is to kill the rune knights to get the rune armor and upgrade it i still have a bunch of gold and silver saved up so i should be able to upgrade most of it i'm not sure how much it costs heal up all the way go into the castle of kings and just fight these rune knights their drop chance is pretty low unfortunately but i'm not, I'm not looking to replace the plate body really i just care about the helmet the pants and the boots because that'll be six percent extra damage reduction if i can get those upgraded if you're wondering why i have these separated these are my fez components you can see i already have two elite ambulance of strength just because my slayer task has been running into mummies a bunch so that was pretty easy to get so yeah i have plenty of food i should be fine fighting these but yeah my first main goal today is just to get more rune gear so i'll get back to you once i have the, all that okay that could have taken a lot longer than it did but i did manage to get all the rune stuff i found the rune sword this actually has a higher stab and strength bonus than the ice sword so i figured i'd swap over to this i think my next goal is to do deep sea ship until i get i don't think there's anything i care about at any of these other ones but i think this shouldn't be too bad i think i should be able to do this pretty easily but we'll see yeah this is what i remember the low chance to hit is what i remember this fight isn't hard like i can idle this right now i'm chilling it's just the low chance to hit means that it takes a while for each clear. I could go into Eleran Battlegrounds and grind out these warriors for the Eleran Spear. That's a little better, maybe. But then I'll lose the damage reduction, so I'm not sure about that. I'll probably just continue to do this until I get Sunset Rape here. Okay, so I actually got really lucky. I had to clear it, I think, a 20 times. Let me check. 10 times. I only had to clear it 10 times, and I managed to get the Sunset Rape here, so that's pretty huge don't have to bother with that anymore sunset rapier is a very great weapon that'll carry me through volcanic cave and everything the next goal i have for this video is to get the paladin gloves which are in the holy isles that come from these paladins and they give twice as much damage reduction as these gloves do see the main reason i wanted to get the rapier first was because i tried to fight these guys before and it was just so slow because my chance to hit was so low so i think that was a good call it seems like okay i just found these paladin gloves that is huge 
Huge, huge, huge. Great progress there. These have less well-rounded stats. They give less attack bonuses and stuff, but they have a, twice the damage reduction, so definitely worth throwing those on. So I'm up to 31% damage reduction. I think this is the best gear I can have on right now. I don't have, I have the safeguard unlocked, so I can get it up to 32%. I think that's all I've got time for tonight, but I still think we made pretty good progress. I'm finally getting like pretty good kit set up. Overnight, I'm probably just going to run uh, cows like I did before and get my money up a little bit. I think I'll probably try to save up to get auto slayer. Yeah, I'll probably try and save up to get this. So I can just throw it on easy tasks and let that run overnight and build up a nice amount of flare coins so when I get back on in the morning, throw all those into food and stuff. I've been Captain Blamo. Stay tuned for more episodes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 5 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. So as you can see, not much has changed. Got the paladin gloves. I did manage to get this rune play body. That's some nice extra damage reduction. Everything is above god gear level. Attack 86, strength 88, defense 89, and hit points 88. I did spend some time today working on my ranged, so I'm up to level 42 on that. I ground out a bunch of slayer tasks and got auto slayer. Then I ran that for a while and built up a decent amount of crabs. And then overnight, I killed a bunch of master farmers and did that through most of today as well. And I managed to get enough money to buy auto eat tier three and the second equipment set. So I believe with this current gear, I think this is genuinely the best I can get right now, other than going in here and killing the uh, griffins for the dragon claw. This is pretty good for me. I think I can clear all the dungeons I haven't done yet, which are my light caves first, into Frozen Cove, into Dragon's Den, and then finally into Volcanic Cave. I feel confident um, that I should be able to clear all of these pretty easily. Let's get right into it. This dungeon diving episode. Alright, my light caves is cleared. That was pretty easy. Heal up, into Frozen Cove. I already cleared Deep Sea Ship a bunch of times to get the Sunset Rapier. So we're just going to skip that. All right, fairly easily got that done, so that's good. Into Dragon's Den. I'm interested to see if I can actually sit in idle volcanic cave. I'll probably get rid of strength and this and run chivalry and then run safeguard. That's the best damage reduction prayer I have. I've been always running prayers just because I get so many prayer points from the slayer packages. As you can see, I've only been buying the sharks now, the higher level package, so, so I'm already mostly through the second run so i'm gonna let this go this is nice to clear i can get better gloves from this than what i have right now which are the ancient dragon hide van braces which give better damage reduction than these paladin gloves i think they give six percent okay that's cleared i clear that twice now into volcanic cave so i'm gonna put take these off put on chivalry put on safeguard i think these are what I, the best i can run right now so I'm up to 33% damage reduction with 890 health. I think I should be okay. Let's try. I don't think I need to manually heal this if I'm honest. Being able to idle this would be pretty huge. Being able to get ancient gear. What I'll probably do overnight tonight is just um, idle the statues. Because I mean this is going to run th through too much food for me to feel comfortable leaving it idling. So I'll probably idle through statues overnight just to build up a giant supply of gold. Nice. So, very good. Now I'm going to equip the fire cape, get some extra damage reduction. I got this, the lore. Probably gods. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. Not really all that much I can talk about. I didn't do all that much other than getting the plate body and leveling up ranged a bit. The auto eat and the second equipment slot and running prayer a bunch. So I've got prayer up to level 75 now. So what I'm probably going to do is idle on volcanic cave for a while. And I'll get back to you with the great unboxing. Pretty soon, actually, we should be able to get into the god dungeons. Look what I just looked into. Got Mac. I think this is like my 37th or 38th clear so far. That's pretty lucky. All right, so after a while of letting it sit and going through like all of my sharks, I managed to clear it 50 times. So I got 50 chests. So let's see what we get. Okay. Okay. We got the ancient plate legs and that's about it it looks like but this is pretty huge these fully upgraded give i think it's seven or eight percent it might be seven percent but that's two percent more than this i'll probably grind a bunch of statues overnight and then hopefully i'll have enough gold and silver in the morning to upgrade this i have enough silver to do it now the main thing i want from volcanic cave is the, the shield it gives eight percent damage reduction when it's fully upgraded and it gives you 30 maximum health and since I don't have agility or anything that can increase my health other than my hit points level, 
any additional max hit points is pretty big. But yeah, pretty huge progress here. I've already gone beyond my normal hardcore character. We got to clearing Volcanic Cave in about a week of playing. Um, it could have been sooner, but I just wanted to get a bunch of foundation stuff set up, like leveling up my range to getting that second equipment set. Yeah, this was a good little test of my strength. And since we're five episodes in, I'm going to ask you guys what you're thinking of this series. Are there any tips you think you could give me for getting certain items or the next things I should do? I think my next plan is probably going to be getting the ancient set and then getting the ancient dragon, the ancient claw from the pegasuses here. They're, they're hard to get. They take a while, but that's a pretty big upgrade from the sunset rapier. That'll carry me through the god dungeons for sure. And then maybe trying to get Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs. We'll see. I've been Captain Blamo. Stay tuned for more episodes. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 6 of my hardcore combat-only speedrun playthrough. So I've got some new gear. As you can see, I managed to upgrade these plate legs. I went, and while I was grinding out the gold, I ground out a second amulet of defense. So that's done. I need two for Fez, so I figured I might as well go do that. Because these purple goo monsters that drop them also have a very high chance to drop gold. I also went and ground out a bunch of sand beasts and got the sandstorm ring, which should help with my clear time. And as you can see, my... Range character is a little bit geared up. If you're leveling up ranged in any game mode, I would highly recommend you go get this cape of ranged preservation from the Holy Isles. These Holy Archers drop it. It increases your ammo preservation by 20%. Very good. And I got the Eleran Longbow from these Eleran Archers in the Eleran Battlegrounds. And I just have the Desert Red Pinks on. Pretty simple. Wanted to get to start leveling it up, so I've got it up to level 77 now. I bought this Confetti Crossbow. Um, it's the only crossbow I can get right now other than the ancient crossbow and I really don't feel like grinding out dragon's den just for that. It's as good as the dragon crossbow and it gives me some extra money so I'm not complaining too much. So I have a few goals today. My first goal is I went and bought this magical ring. So my first goal of the day is to go into the highlands here and kill these pegasuses, pegasi, pegasi? I don't know, until I can get the ancient claw because that'd be a pretty big weapon upgrade and then once i get that i want to go into the volcanic cave and grind that until i get the ancient shield and then i'm going to grind out dragons and hopefully by the end of the night i will have enough dragon bones to fully upgrade it because that'll give me 30 extra max life and i don't have any way to get extra life like agility you'd normally use to get extra hit points but here i don't have anything so that extra health will help a lot especially going into the god dungeons. Yeah, let's get right into it. So I'm gonna go in here and fight these Pegasi. The drop chance is actually really low and these guys are annoying because their evasion rating depends on their max health. So it's hard to get them started. Once you start hitting them, it's pretty easy to kill them. Uh, and they heal, their, he, they heal their health every five turns. So this is probably gonna take a while. Normally I'd run ship on New Yar, which can, has a chance to double your loot in combat, but obviously you get that from thieving. I don't have that here, so. A little unfortunate it'll make this a little slower but we'll see so at this point it's been about 20 minutes i've killed 100 of these things and they've dropped four which makes sense this is actually pretty lucky it's about three percent drop chance so i forgot how hard these things are to get it took me like two or three days on my standard character to get all of them so this is probably going to take a few hours here so I'll probably grind this out tomorrow in between recordings. I think um, probably what I'll do instead, sort these, is go ahead and do the volcanic cave grind and get in here and start working on this. I completely forgot to change my ring out. Hold up. Yeah. Start working on this. Hopefully get the helmet, the play body, and the shield. But it'll probably take a few hundred clears before I can get there. But yeah, I can pretty safely just leave this alone and let it go. It will shoot through a lot of my sharks. It's worth it to get the gear. But I'll get back to you once I'm running out of food. And we'll do another great unboxing. This is uh, this dungeon is also, I'm pretty sure, the best way of getting the Amulets of Fury. Yeah, so I'm going to need to clear this a bunch of time anyway for Fizz. So this works out. I just need the kit. I mean, I can't get dragon armor, really. Not in, not in a way that's easy, so... This would be a pretty big power spike to get full ancient gear. I'm super glad you guys have been enjoying this series so far. I mean, we're in episode 6 now, but obviously it's not going to last forever. So please let me know in the comments if there are any other games you want to see me play. I'll probably put a list down there of games I like and would um, like to do videos on at some point. And if you can't think of anything you'd want to see me play or anything to do in this game, um, feel free to drop a comment on that pinned comment. 
I'm picking a game from that list. But I'm always happy to play more of this game too. I love this game. And there are a bunch of mods that add cool challenges and stuff. I'll probably also do a series once I reach completion on my standard account. Because I'm waiting to buy Throne of the Herald until I finish everything. So once I buy Throne of the Herald, I'll probably do some videos on me working through all that stuff. But yeah, let me know if there are any games you guys want to see me play. Okay, one day later of me swapping between doing this and doing Slayer tasks to get more food. And fighting the urge to open all the chests. I've got 203 elite chests ready to go. If I'm lucky, I'll at least get the helmet and the shield out of this. The shield is top priority. The helmet and the breastplate come second. Either way though, I have what we're going to do next lined up and ready to go. Wait for this clear. Run. And let's do it. There's the helmet. There's the shield. Let's go. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, perfect. We also got two amulets of fury, which I'm going to slam on this tab. Full of my fez components. You can see I have a shit ton of amulets of strength now from just doing the slayer tasks. Because I guess mummies show up a lot in the easy slayer tasks. So I've got four elite amulets of strength and 94 extras. I did get this dragon chest plate. I could probably use this. I think that would probably work. I'll drag all these to my gear. An extra two milli. Right now I'm trying to save money to get dungeon equipment swapping. That's my next, uh money spending goal over the next couple days between recordings uh i'll probably get enough stuff to upgrade these up all the way um because you need a lot of gold and for this you need 7050 dragon bones i believe but it gives you plus 30 max health so it's worth it actually i have i'm like really close to the gold amount i'm gonna go get the gold real quick all right just grind out enough gold i get it the reason i'm going ahead and upgrading this i can still get value out of it out of using it while i'm waiting to upgrade it it does give more damage reduction by two percent then my current shield and more damage bonuses and stuff like that. Do gotta upgrade the helmet and the plate body. Helmet's more important. This only gives 1% more damage reduction, whereas the helmet gives 2%. So helmet's more important. I'm getting pretty geared up though. I'm looking good. Yeah, I ran through a lot of my food doing that. You also can see, I forgot to mention it. I'm level 99 defense now. I hit, I finally hit level 99 on one of my combat skills. I was grinding out defense a lot more because I already have, I guess we can do a pet check. I have this attack pet that gives hidden attack level and I have the strength pet that gives hidden strength level. The defense pet gives you 1% extra damage reduction, so I've literally only been using defense when I'm not clearing dungeons. It's just kind of annoying. I guess I can show you guys the shield. Upgrades to the dragon fire shield, plus 30 maximum hit points and minus 30% damage taken from dragon breath and it gives an additional damage reduction and more strength so it's really good but this takes a long ass time to grind because it costs 7050 dragon bones i think it took me like three or four days on my standard account to get enough dragon bones to level this up i think i'm going to spend the rest of my time today trying to grind out some more of the components i need for fury of the elemental zodiacs at least the first one so i need a few more amulets of defense wait no i don't have two already i have, I have one equipped so i have enough for that I need the Amulets of Fury, which I don't think I'm going to do tonight, and I don't think I'm going to do these tonight either. But I can definitely do the Amulets of Accuracy, the Amulets of Magic, and the Amulets of Ranged. I guess I'll start off with the easier ones, which would be Magic is the easiest one out of the list, I think. So I could just go and kill a bunch of these Master Wizards. I need an excuse to level up Ranged a bit more anyway. I probably could have kept some more of the stuff from... I didn't think about that until now. Whatever, I'll have to clear it a bunch more times later anyway. Because of the combat interval reductions, I attack so fast, it's crazy. I kill everything so quickly. See, I'm going to sit here and grind these out for a while to get the amulets of magic. Right now, I have I have none of them. I haven't gotten any of these yet. So yeah, I'm going to grind out 200 of these real quick. I'm going to try to at least get one of the elite amulets of magic tonight. Okay, so I've been grinding these out for a while, swapping between killing these and doing slayer tasks for food. I finally managed to get the uh, elite Ma amulet of magic, so that's done. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to try to do all of the fez components piecemeal. You can see I have five of these. I w obviously, my end game is to have three f uh, Fury of the Elemental Zodiacs, one for each of my classes. There is an easy way to get it if you have Township. There's a Township task for it where it gives you three, but obviously we don't have that here, so I'm gonna have to grind it out. So getting some parts out of the way now and then doing the rest later will make it to where I don't have to spend as much time at once to do it all. I've been killing these with my ranged character just to level it up and because, you know, ranged is good against magic. I did spend some more time in the Volcanic Cave to get the Black Dragon Hide gear. That's nice. And then I fought some Black Dragons to level it up. Although doing that i managed to find the last piece of ancient gear i needed the plate body so that's done that's all good so i've got the full set i've got the pants and the shield already fully upgraded i did need the dragon bones for the shield but i have it upgraded to gold so it gives me dr on my melee character so i just need to upgrade these and we'll be a lot stronger i think probably again i'm just going to do slayer tasks overnight 
and then get back on, get a bunch of food, and then we'll figure out from there what to do. Thank you all for watching. I've been Captain Blemo. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 7 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. Today is a big day for us. I'll show you real quick. I got the Ancient Claw, so that's big. I had to grind this out overnight, but not a big deal. Best weapon I can have right now, pretty much. And that's done, so that's awesome. I got a bunch of food, uh, doing Slayer tasks. I went and I have every Fez component other than the Amulets of Fury done. So I only need the Amulets of Fury and Fez, at least one Fez, can be crafted. And so I've been grinding out Volcanic Cave because to my knowledge, this is the best way to get the Amulets of Fury. So right now, I've been doing this all day pretty much. I have 500 Elite Chests I've been saving up just to do another one of those funny little unboxings for you guys. The other reason that this is such a big day for us is I have all melee stats completely maxed, max level. I'm still missing the defense pit, but I have all of these. I have the prayer pit and the slayer pit. That's awesome. I think we can start doing god dungeons now. And I already have my ranged level up and I have a really good supply of bolts from the slayer packs so that's awesome yeah i'm pretty excited let me finish this clear and i'll get to opening the chests i think i'll probably try to make my videos a little bit longer someone requested that the videos be between 10 and 15 minutes and if you guys like my content that much you want more of it uh it'd be rude not to give it to you so i'll try my best obviously some things take a really long time and i'm not going to show you the entire process of me you know clearing this dungeon 500 times so all that stuff kind of stuff gets cut out but i'll try to find more things that i can do for each video there's still plenty more content that I can do. I haven't been into anything past Toxic Swamps, and I haven't done anything past Infernal Stronghold. So I've got a bunch more stuff to do that I can uh, grind out. Pretty exciting. I can go in here and look at the count age. 18 days, so almost three weeks since I first started recording, which is super awesome. This is pretty good progress, I think, for 18 days. Finish this last clear off. I have around 500 of the chests. So if I have average luck, I should be able to get uh, at least five Amulets of Fury out of this. So let's check it out. I got four. That's kind of stinky. I already have the full set of ancient armor. I don't need no more. But that's good money, I guess. I'll take the money. So I'll drag the Amulets of Fury over to my Fez. And now I can sell all of these for a profit of eight million. Holy shit. What am I saving up for right now? I think I'm... I don't think I have to, anything else I can buy with money i do need to get 300,000 slayer coins so i can get the third equipment set it's unfortunate i can't get the fourth one because it requires level 99 astrology but that's fine it's not like i need a skilling set or anything just really uh melee range to magic so i'm going to turn on sh uh, chivalry and stone skin so i have 1030 health and 45 percent damage reduction i believe i should be able to go in here and get this air god dungeon done i can finally start gearing up my range character and moving on to other things because my range character is already pretty leveled up i should be able to move on to the water god dungeons and the chest you get from these can really help you out with runes which is still a big problem the only way i can really get them is from killing wizards and i have been taking a break to kill them sometimes but you see i don't really have that big of a supply of runes for anything more than the tier one spells it's mainly the catalyst runes like the chaos runes and death runes the elemental runes are fine other than the fire ones. The catalyst runes are kind of hard to get. But yeah, anyway, got to get through all these trash mobs. That's floor one done. That's floor two done. Very nice. I'm trying to pay attention to these down here because I'm not 100% sure about uh, the final boss here with the stuns. Um, but I should be okay. Good to know that even when it's 80% faster, these still take so much time. Another thing I did, which you probably saw when I came into this menu, I got prayer up to 97. I was just running it on burst of strength and clarity of thought overnight. And so I have basically every prayer unlocked and I have the prayer pit. So I kind of just stopped running it and started saving my uh, prayer points. I mean, I don't think I'll ever need a million of them, but you know, they're probably worth having. Oh my God, I forgot about the fire capes and I have 720 of them. Nice. I have been collecting some uh, mage stuff. These battle staffs will help me out a lot, I think, because they reduce the rune cost of whatever uh elemental type the spell is by five so i'll probably not use these for dungeons because obviously they're two-handed take up my shield slot but using them for grinding leveling is really helpful that's what i did on my main character yeah so i can handle i can idle this none of these do anywhere near enough damage to kill me even when i'm stunned 
So yeah, I'll probably clear this a few times. This is not hard. It does eat through a lot of food. Just not one clear. I think I ate through like 500 sharks or something like that. So uh, I'm not going to be able to overnight this, obviously. But I know that I can leave it sitting for probably an hour or so. But I, I'll probably clear it like eh, five times roundabout and get back to you when I open up all the scrolls. Talking about leveling magic, I do have alt magic available, but it says non-combat spells. So I feel like using this is kind of cheating. So I'll probably just stick to leveling up in combat. I'm sure it's probably fine, but eh, I consider it kind of cheaty. So I'm not going to do that. It's not that efficient past level 20 magic anyway. Maybe level 40, but... And it isn't good for getting per points, but I, uh, that's not a problem for me. All right, everybody. I just finished up my 11th run. Uh, I finished 10, and then I wanted to get a 1,000 of these. So I went ahead and did another run. So first, we're going to do the chest because they're not as cool. I can get the dead eye ring and the dead eye amulet and some uh, arrows and stuff out of this. Gonna open these up. About what I expected. Uh, next, we got these. So these can have the ranged armor, ranged god armor. So these are. This is cool. Uh, if I can get lucky with these, then I can go ahead and do the next dungeon. Gloves, boots, plate legs, helmet. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Gearing up a little bit here. So my ranged character is now up to. Okay, cool. So. With the full kit on, I've got 50% DR. Uh, I think this is the best I can do. So I'm going to have a go. I feel pretty confident that I should be able to do the Water God Dungeon extremely easily. So we're going to go ahead and have that, give that a try here. Oh, I've ranged attacks so fast, it's crazy. I'm floor 2 now. Not looking too bad. Making so much money from the Confetti Crossbow. I'm on floor 3. Just about to finish floor 3 actually. Um, that's good. Sweet. On the floor floor four so far nothing is doing nearly enough damage to hurt me or kill me uh, even when i'm frozen i don't protect for magic on so um that's expensive on prayer points but it reduces the amount of food i eat a little bit i don't think i need the extra damage reduction for this all right almost done with floor four on to the final boss the chance to hit is kind of annoying but you know that's to be expected i have plenty of bolts so it's not a problem all right on to glacia Look through these. Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. 62% damage reduction against magic. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. And we're cleared. Awesome. Guess I'll go ahead and open this one up for the video. The boots. Very nice. Obviously, I can't use any of that shit right now. I also got the god sword. I can upgrade this, right? The ultimate god sword. I need five of all of the god uh, god swords from all the my god dungeons. Level 90 attack, level uh, 90 strength. It's a two-hander. But it does give 8% damage reduction. It has 4 special attacks. I think these are all the special attacks from all of them. Um, but this looks pretty insane, actually. Maybe I'll try to go for this at some point. Not right now, uh, but I'll put it away. Sell all of these. I'll lock these so I don't sell these by accident. Sell all of these. I am holding on to any extra gloves I find. Uh, God gloves for... Because you can upgrade these into the... Yeah, the poison gloves. Um, so just hold on to them. Yeah, super exciting. Really good progress here. I can pretty easily uh, clear the first two god dungeons. The third one is going to take a lot of grinding to get to because you have to play as magic really to get through it uh, at this stage. So I'm going to have to grind up magic levels and for that I need runes and for runes I need to grind out wizards. So that's probably what I'll be doing uh, tomorrow. But for right now I'm going to let this clear and we're going to go do something else for a bit. Alright so that's cleared. Sweet. Run. Go ahead and... Uh, Upgrade these and see what I get out of here. Well, I grade. No. Okay. This. The gloves. Great. Got the first two pieces. The most common pieces. Very nice. So, obviously, my goal for melee is to get the the Infernal Claws. Um, and for that, you need these Ancient Claws, 10 Infernal Cores, and you need the Dragon Claws. To get those, the same with the uh, Ancient Claws. we got to go into these Highlands with the Ring Equipped and kill these Griffins. They drop the Fragments. This is way easier to get, uh, takes a lot less time than the Ancient Claw. So hopefully this doesn't take nearly as long, especially with it all sped up. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, so it's been like an hour. I mean, I've got half of them. This is, seems like an off video thing, off recording thing. That's fine. Uh, it shouldn't take me too long when I get to grinding for that. Is there anything else I want to do this episode? My range character is pretty well geared my melee character is as geared as he can be right now um the one thing i can think to do is go into a wizard tower and try and get these green wizard robes just to have something for my wizard to use when i start leveling them 
how I get some rooms. So I'll get the full set of these and get back to you real quick. All right, so I've got uh, it's a full set of greens now, so that's good. I'm picking up some blues, which is good. I'm going to move these over to my wizard tab. I really need to start getting on that and leveling up wizard because I'm going to need it for the uh, next god dungeon, the earth god dungeon. So I'm probably going to keep grinding these guys out because these guys drop a bunch of elemental runes. So that's really great. And then I'll start grinding out the master wizards because they drop the lower level catalyst runes. And then these dark wizard drop uh, stuff like enchanted shield, the black wizard stuff, which is pretty good. Yeah, these guys are the best for the catalyst runes. So I'll probably stick on these for a while until I can get like around 100,000 of each. So that'll probably be a, be a like a day or so, day or two, depending on how lucky I get with drops. I at least need 100,000 air runes because like every spell costs air runes. And then once I start leveling, I'll probably use the air battle staff and stick with the air spells, um, maybe the fire one, depending on how many runes I get. And I need to get up to level 85 so I can start equipping this god gear. And then once I get magic to 85, I'll start clearing the water god dungeon some more times so that I can get the full set or most of the set at least for the glacier gear and probably with earth god i'm going to want to get three of these earth layered shields for all of my characters because they're really great so i'll probably have to grind this one out a ton a lot a lot but that's okay yeah we're making some really great uh progress here on episode seven we're already up to earth god dungeon so yeah, things are going pretty good. 18 days to get up here. Don't think there's that much else I can do for this video right now. I'm going to have to do some more grinding, getting runes, leveling up magic, probably sticking on like giant crabs or something for magic, something easy, getting more food because I'm running low on sharks. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I've been Captain Blamo. Stick around for more episodes and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello everybody. Welcome to episode 8 of my hardcore combat only speedrun playthrough. Last time we went through the first two god dungeons a few times and got some pretty good gear. Uh, since then I've been trying to train a wizard off of doing slayer tasks just so I can uh, make up the food loss from training. Um, the runes are a problem. I've had to stop doing this to go kill wizards. I am running the air battle staff. Um, so that makes it to where like any of these first three like this one's gonna cost one air rune the other ones cost no air runes so I really only need to worry about the catalyst runes now so that's helped out a lot you can see i'm level 74 magic i'm just about to hit level 75 unfortunately not level 85 yet hopefully that'll happen between this episode and the next one this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter there are a few items i want to get to make this grind a little bit easier so yeah the main thing i want to do is run through this hall of wizards a bunch of times try and get some of the ancient wizard boots ancient wizard armor you can also get the mystic air staff which is even better you can get ancient runes from this the red wizard gear would be a nice upgrade as well from the blue ones, extra damage reduction, stuff like that. But yeah, I think that's my main plan for this episode. I also might try to do some more grinding for the Amulets of Fury. Since I'm getting so close now to Fez, like I only need six more Amulets of Fury. But that clearing that dungeon that many times takes a while. So I'm going to put on my ranged gear real quick and we'll get into the Hall of Wizards. Alright, basically same kit as before. I swapped out the amulet of defense for amulet of range because I don't need the extra damage reduction here and this helps out my damage a bit. So our shipping like clear speed a little bit faster. Yeah, obviously this is no problem for me. I'm in like almost full god gear. Yeah, I'll clear this uh like a few dozen. Oh, that was my first clear. That's funny. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, I'll clear this a few dozen times and get back to you. All right, a little bit later. I've managed to clear the dungeon about 200 times. So I've got 200 of these chests. Let's open them up. So I got the Ancient Wizard robes and the Ancient Wizard shoes. Not bad. Yeah, they increase my minimum damage by five. They give me extra accuracy writing and max hit with surge spells. Um, and I got this red gear, which is slightly better than the blue. So I can throw this on. Book of Eli reduces the light room cost of auroras. Pretty simple stuff. I don't think I care about any of this. So this is my wizard now. Let me go ahead and get my, basically my whole leveling kit on. I'm using the Elite Amulet of Magic because it does give 2% damage reduction and it gives me extra attack and damage bonuses for magic so it's pretty good but yeah this is basically my whole kit now i guess i'm trying to think if there are any other items i want right now yeah i'm pretty sure unless i wanted to grind out the hall of wizards a bunch more times to get the full set this is pretty much the all i gotta do right now to get my magic level up to 85 and start equipping god gear maybe for right now what i'll do is go and get the rest of the components I need for the dragon claw because I have 50 of them, uh, 50 of the fragments. So I might go ahead and go get the rest. I need to equip god boots also on my melee character. There we go. So this is pretty good. God gloves too. So back into islands. 
on these griffins. I'll get back to you once I have the last 50 fragments I need. Okay, so I got all 100. Go ahead and upgrade this. So we got the dragon claw. I need this and the ancient claw and some infernal cores to make the infernal claw. And that's one of the best melee weapons in the game. So that'll carry me through the god dungeons, uh, specifically the fire dungeon um, and the into the mist and everything else. So that is very good indeed. Now I know this one was a lot shorter. I don't think there's that much more I can do this time. It's getting to the point now where everything takes so long. I might have to drop down to two videos or maybe even one video per week, but we'll have to wait and see. If I do have to do that, I'll start another series just so I can keep uh, uploading a bunch. Um, so I might play more of this game. A couple people recommended I play Stardew Valley, so I might hop on that. Um, but yeah, next episode on Friday, so keep a lookout for that. Uh, I've been Captain Blimo. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 9 of my Hardcore Combat Only Speedrun playthrough. This video is coming out a day late because I didn't hit magic level 85 yesterday, so I ground the rest of that out today, and now we have a bunch of things that we can do. I have a lot planned for today, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is probably sit here for a little bit and get some more food, and then I'm going to start clearing water god dungeons some more times to get the god gear, and then once I get the god gear, uh, I'm going to probably clear volcanic cave a bunch of times to see if I can get more of the amulets of fury, and then after that, I'll start going into infernal stronghold to get the infernal cores so that i can upgrade to the infernal claw and the infernal cave gives two percent more damage reduction than the fire cave and then once i do that i'm going to start clearing the earth god dungeon and gearing up my melee character so today is a very big day it might be a pretty long episode but hopefully you guys like that and yeah we're slowly reaching the end here actually getting ever so much closer to the very end of the game pretty soon i'll have full god gear for all my characters i still need to grind up slayer coin to get the third uh equipment set so that's probably a goal i'll do in the near future um but yeah i'm gonna sit here and get some food for a little bit and get back to you once we go into the water god dungeon okay so i got enough slayer coin to buy five of those slayer packs so i'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so now i've buried the bones equipped all the food i think i'm ready to go so now I'm going to clear the water god dungeon as many times as I can. So I'll get back to you once I've done that. That's the first step in uh, my progression this episode. Uh, <laughs> This is awkward. Um, It appears that I may have accidentally gone into the water god dungeon with my melee character. And I am dead. So a little anticlimactic, but... I think we're gonna have to end it there. I've been working at this for like a month. I do not want to have to go back through that again. But, you know, that's okay. I've got more stuff to do. Other series is to do. Um, next, I'm gonna be doing this. The Hardcore Adventure Speed Run. So, basically same thing. Except with this, I can unlock stuff. So it'll be a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah. So here's the mod I'm using. Grishtor Speed Runs. If you want to try this out. It's pretty fun. Messing with that game mode was a lot of fun. And I know a lot of you guys enjoyed it, but it looks like that's where we're going to have to call it for this one. Unfortunately, very unceremonious end. Uh, but yeah, look forward on Monday. Hopefully I will have the new series going. Yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this. I'll probably put the new series up on screen now. Once I upload it, I'll add it. I've been Captain Blamo. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.